This post-match report is proudly brought to you by Complete Sports Management, More Footy, Less Admin and Stat Guru, When Numbers Matter. Hello viewers, Dom here from Complete Sports Management here at Coonung Reserve where we have watched Q Rovers defeat St Mary's by 22 points in the under 15 Division 1 comp. I'm here with the St Mary's coach Richard Todd. Richard, that was a very good game to watch from us as a neutral. Um, in that third quarter, you guys played fantastically, really gave it to Q Rovers that Q have never um, faced in this year so far at a lead of nine points at one stage. What did you think of the third quarter and what was said at half time? Oh, well, the third quarter we had to lift. We were behind and you just asked the boys to lift and put in a concerted effort to put us in the, put us back on the scoreboard. And that's all, it's a pretty simple, pretty simple message. Yeah, well, I thought the main contributors in the game today were Tim, Tim Todd had another game, to, another great game today. He had 26 disposals, kicked the crucial goal. Jaden Collins down back, 20 disposals was very played very well across the half back line and Jackson Bone had 19 disposals and had plenty of tackles in and under in the middle of the ground. I thought those three played well today. Yeah, I, look, the, the three of them all contributed extremely well. Um, Jaden was like a rocket to uh, centre half back. He did terrific. Jackson was good and so was Tim, but um, we had a couple of other boys step up. I thought Alex Balassoni on the wing uh, was particularly strong today. He played a great game, very happy with his performance. And Ryan uh, Gleeson at full back. Uh, he, we had to move him down to fullback, and he filled in magnificently. His game was just outstanding. I thought it was great. Yep. Well, the four rounds of seed are now complete. You've um, come across with a win-loss ratio of two wins and two losses. So um, how did you feel you guys have gone so far in the first four weeks in Division One? Well, it's two wins, two losses, and about 100% at percentage. So we're at even... It's even Stevens. It's... Um, uh, we then now have to kick along. I don't know whether there's some sides coming up from the second division, but they'll come up with four wins, and um, that puts us further down the ladder. So we just have to fight on from here. There's no, no excuse. We just have to fight right to the end to stay in the contest. Yep. Well, um, commiserations for today's result, but otherwise it was a fantastic game to, um, to watch. Thank you for your time, Richard, and we'll see you all next week. Yep. Thanks, Tom. No worries. Thank, Thank you. you. All, All right, so now I'm going to pass over for the Q interview. Thanks, Dom. Uh, the Q Rovers up by 22 points today. I'm joined by one of their gun full forwards, Teddy Kennedy, and the coach, Peter Hoppy. Ted, you've, you've played well really all season, but your performance today was particularly impressive. Four goals and, and really dominating. You got all, all over the ground. How did you see your game? Um, I saw it as, like, it was a very good competition all day. Uh, we let them get up on us in the third quarter, but we came out home strong in the fourth, which was good. Yeah, definitely. I, I thought it was, it was a really good contest to watch, as Dom said earlier. And, um, you know, you battled hard against your man. I think you definitely got on top, uh, you know, later in the day, and you, you managed to kick one to seal the game. It must have been really pleasing. Yeah, it was really good because I was able to use my body to overpower the, my opponent and go back and kick the goal, which was good. Yeah, and you're a new player down at the Q Rovers this year and you look like you're really enjoying your footy and you're gelling well with the boys. Yeah, it's good because um, I'm at school with a few of them, which has been very fun and we've been played against each other in past years. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's fantastic. And Peter, it was the most competitive game by far that you've been in today and um, I think you did really good, really good job in the end to get over the line in the fourth quarter. Yeah, it was, it was absolutely the hardest match that we had for the year. Um, St Mary's are always a very hard team. They're always very strong and tough and everything like that. We sort of expected that and um, it was great for the boys to actually you know, know what the competition is going to be like for the rest of the year. So it was, it was a great effort to come back. Um, they were challenged and they came back and I was just really impressed. So it's a good game by both teams. We're really in the spirit of the game, it was fantastic. Yeah, it was. It was really good to watch. We really enjoyed it. Some special players, Ted being one of them, but Nick Dacos jumping up in the, in the last quarter down at yeah. full forward and Finlay McRae just continues to keep on keeping on. 36 touches was amazing. Yeah, yeah Finlay's a machine and, he, and you can always rely on him. Like uh, exactly what I said before, when a challenge comes up, you'll see, the, you'll see Nick and uh, Finlay come up and uh, they were fantastic, you know, feeding it down. Nick had two people in the last quarter. The deal we've still got, you know, a couple of crucial goals and everything like that, so it was fantastic. We had a, missed a couple of people this week, but, um, you know, the boys know they've had a match, absolutely. 
Definitely, and undefeated from here on in. I know that was a real test today, but you must be pleased. Um, uh, you know, the competition will now get reshuffled, but you should be looking forward to what's uh, left in the season. Yep, and um, teams like Ashburton coming up, they were in gold last year. They're, you know, winning every match by 24 goals. So, you know, they've definitely picked up a couple of extra players and they're going to be a great, uh, you know, team in the Div 1. And um, we're looking forward to the challenge. So, fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you for joining me, boys. And I uh, look forward to seeing what, what's... Uh, in ahead as well. So, as just repeating, Q Rovers have won by 22 points today in a really tight contest. I've been Patrick Burton, and until next time, thank you. This has been another complete sports management production.